assalamu alaikum and welcome back to the videos this video will be about revision for dsc i'm targeting this topic more about polynomials this is the topic where you do the long division where you have divisor quotient remainder divided and all those stuff so before we continue i hope you still remember what those things were right so let's do a very simple long division first now these notes are available if you can email me then i can send you the pdf or if you have my whatsapp then i can also send you through that or even instagram dsc maths or two so it's easy to contact me so before that let's do a normal long division do you know how to do 23 divided by let's say 2 how do i do this now i can just directly tell you that it will be 2 times 11 and then that's 22 and then you might have one in the in the end well that is correct but then i want you to do it step by step how do i do that first of all look at the first digit if it's bigger than your this thing this thing is called divisor and the thing inside is called divided if this one the first digit is bigger than that then you just do this one two times what is two yep two times one so two times one is two and then whatever is left just pull it down now there's always a hidden minus two minus two done and three minus there's nothing here so it means it's a zero three minus zero three now you have to do this one again two times what is three yes two times one is three so you're left with the answer as one so now what we know is that 2 times 11 that's 22 and then if you also add up the remainder here you will have to divide in here that shows this 23 how was that made 23 is made by 2 times 11 plus 1 okay and the next thing that you have to notice is that the remainder has to be always smaller than the divisor if it's not that means you did something wrong in the steps or maybe it's not yet fully done okay for example this one three was the remainder but then three is bigger than this so that's why we were continuing the question so until here it's okay so but then in senior forms or even in dsc we don't usually just have numbers what we have is always with unknowns so if it's unknowns then what how do we name these whole things two times 11 22 plus 1 23 that's correct but how do i name that so we use these kinds of forms here Divide in, divisor, quotient, and the remainder. So this one first. This thing that you have the longest thing here is called divide in, or you could directly name it as fx. And then whatever is divided by, we call the divisor, or you can name it as px. And then your answer, what we call quotient, you can name it as qx. And then in the end, the remainder, you can name it as rx. Now, why we are using x is because everything is having the unknown as x. If you have some other unknown, then you replace the x by that some other thing. Okay, so now that you know this whole thing, then again, remember 23? So 23 is the fx. fx will equal to this times this. So fx will equal to px times qx plus the remainder here plus the rx. Okay, and then the degree of the remainder is always less than px device so that means the remainder has to be smaller than them For what does that mean that means if your divisor is let's say x square plus one then your remainder maximum power for the remainder of for the x has to be x or less than that but if your divisor is let's say x minus one like that the highest power for this one is one so your remainder it cannot have any x it has to be zero that's the power so there should not be an x in the end so it just depends on your divisor if your divisor is having the to the degree of four then your remainder can be maximum three all right now that you know the relationship between them fx equals to px times qx plus the remainder then what you're usually asked by is maybe you're given all these three things divided by this thing px quotient and also the remainder you can use the whole thing in the form a divided on your own you can do that and when you do it you have to open up all the brackets rainbow method i'm not going through that here because that should be the basics before coming to this video 
okay just opening up opening up opening up and then plus four in the very end and you will have this thing all right that was the basics of this topic that's the first part we have actually three parts i think or four yeah three so remainder theorem what is remainder theorem and what is factor theorem they both are actually correlated because if there's no remainder then we call that thing as the factor so usually i combine them together now how do, what does remainder theorem show that shows whatever you're divided by if you want to find the remainder just find the value of that unknown and you can find the remainder to it for example if i am divided by x minus 1 i want to know when it's divided by x minus 1 what's the remainder when 23 is divided by 2 the remainder is 1 but then because there's no unknown so you can't really use the theorem so okay so what you can do here is if i am divided by x minus 1 then i will use the opposite how do i do the opposite equals to 0 first find out the x it's 1 so i will replace the whole x by 1 to find the remainder when it's divided by x minus 1 similarly if i'm divided by x plus 1 then i'll be using negative 1 how about if there is a fraction what does that mean so for example if i'm divided by 2x plus 1 then you also find out the x first and then after finding the x that is what you will have to replace negative plus 1 goes there first so negative 1 and then 2 times x here so if you don't want this 2 divide it on the other side similarly if it's a minus first then you go the other side it becomes positive and then divide by 2 so every time if you get confused if you can think in hard directly then it's good but then usually i will prefer you writing the steps this can be on your draft paper no need to show the marker all right so if you want for example this question here this is your fx and then it's divided by x minus 1 and i just need to find the remainder i don't want to find the quotient yet if i need to find the quotient then i will have to do the long division but i just want to know this remainder and if you just need that remainder you can just simply input this back to the function so if it's divided by x minus 1 you will put back plus 1 okay easy anyways so that's how you can find the remainder and if your remainder is zero that means it's a factor so for example or the questions tell you that it's already a factor then whatever you input it has to equal to zero so let's try the questions in a while and before that this was just an introduction and i will do the question in next video so you can, if you have the file you can try on your own or else I will continue next videos. Till then, see you. Allah peace.